Okay, hi YouTube. Mr. Who's a Boss here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Android phones and Windows phones in the year 2014 and 2015. So as you already know, the smartphone marketplace is absolutely flooded with devices and it's actually very, very confusing for first-time buyers. Even if you're not a first-time buyer, it's still, I mean, it's there's just too many things to choose from. So, I mean, first question a lot of people ask is, should I get an Android phone, should I get a Windows phone, should I get an iPhone? So in this video, I'm going to try and clear up the differences between Android and Windows phones, the benefits of one and the disadvantages of the other. So, um, just stay tuned. So let's start with the most important thing for most people, which is price. And this section, I would actually side with the Windows phones. Uh, most new Android phones actually come out at the seven to eight hundred dollar price tag. You know the flagship devices, that is. Whereas the Windows ones don't normally go over the six hundred dollar. On top of that, you're actually getting a better camera with an equivalently priced Windows device. For example, the Nokia Lumia series is just known for their fantastic cameras, and it's just one of the ways that Windows device manufacturers have found to separate themselves from their Android competitors. So I think uh, Windows devices are actually tailored towards people who like taking photographs. I think. If you didn't like taking photographs, or you weren't using your phone for photographs, you would almost be wasting your money on a Windows device. So one of the big benefits of Android is software updates. Whereas Windows has sort of stayed very, very similar for the last three or four years, Android is constantly upgrading and improving. So, I mean, we've got a brand new version of Android just about every year, with, you know, incremental improvements every couple of months, just to keep things going smoothly. Having said that though, when you buy Android devices, they do tend to lose support quite quickly, unless you actually buy the Nexus devices. For example, um, you know, the Galaxy S5, it might get supported updates for another year or so, and then after that it'll be pretty much ditched. Now another thing that really does favour the Android ecosystem is the amount of apps available. Now as you all know, the Google Play Store is just massive, you know, there are well over a million apps, and you could, you could sit on the just new page and just keep refreshing it and you'd see more apps being produced. That's how quickly they're made on the Android App Store. On Windows, on the other hand, I mean, it's a work in progress, it's growing, but I don't think it's ever going to be quite the size of the Android ecosystem. I think that just because uh, there's a smaller user base for Windows, it's sort of less incentive for developers to actually make games for that platform. Um, and, you know, just apps in general. But, I mean, it does have most of the major apps, so if you're thinking things like uh, the eBay app, the YouTube app, you do have all that kind of stuff, so I wouldn't worry too much, but it's just you won't have as much of a diverse set of applications on Windows. So, one thing that people are really bothered about is performance. How does the performance differ between Android and Windows phones? Well, to be honest, the flagship Android phones are coming out with better specs than the Windows ones. You know, the very, very best Android phones have like 3 gigabytes of RAM, you know, Snapdragon 801, Snapdragon 805, quad-core processors, you know, at very high clock speeds, you know, 2.3 gigahertz, 2.5 gigahertz. That's what we're reaching now. On the other hand, the Windows phones have not really surpassed the Snapdragon 800, i.e. they're about a year behind in terms of specs. The best Windows phones only have 2 gigabytes of RAM at the minute. Having said all that though, it doesn't necessarily mean that Android has the smoother experience. I mean, just generally, Android is a heavier package, it's a lot more customizable, there's a lot more to it. So in terms of actual, the amount of storage space it takes up, it does take up more, and it's more sort of resource intensive, so it, the equivalent sort of components on an Android device would perform less well than they would on Windows. So having said that, I think that both would offer fairly equal experiences in terms of speed. You know, I've done web browser tests, I've done just general smoothness tests, and it does seem to be that both perform very well if you're buying a 2014 or 2015 phone. So a lot of people have also asked me about, you know, build quality. And it's pretty difficult to comment on this because it really just depends on the manufacturer. So there are lots of different manufacturers for Android and lots of different ones for Windows. And, you know, like for example HTC produces a brand new you know, metal aluminium unibody or whatever, and that feels really good, you know, it feels really, really well built. And on the other hand, we have Samsung, who continues to sort of churn out plastic handsets, and it just, it just depends on the manufacturer. I mean, the Nokia Lumia series for Windows phones are very well built, and, you know, although they are plasticky, they do just sort of have a sense of quality about them, which you don't get with a lot of plastic phones. So I just thought I'd quickly mention that 
I think Android is progressing at a faster rate than Windows. I mean, we're seeing a lot more innovation in terms of Android smartphones than Windows ones. For example, you know, we're getting heart rate sensors on the back of phones and um, dual cameras for image stabilization and that kind of thing. Whereas with Windows, I think we've just been seeing a steady increase in specifications and not much else. So, should you buy a Windows phone or should you buy an Android phone in your next contract upgrade? Well, personally, I think it really depends on your budget. If your budget is around the $600 mark and you're looking for a phone with, you know, a powerful camera, um, then I actually think a Windows phone is a really good way to go. You'll be getting a solid user interface with just quite a few different apps. I wouldn't say an expansive range of apps, but enough apps for you to, you know, keep yourself company with. And, you know, just a well-built device in general. For most other cases, however, I would actually recommend Android. Android provides a very budget-friendly option, as well as a very premium option, and you can just about pick and choose your price point with it. On top of that, with the flagship devices, just they're just more. There's more to them. I think if you actually compare something like the Galaxy S5 or the HTC One M8 to the best that Windows has to offer, I think Windows has to really sort of bow its head in shame. You do get more for paying extra with Android, I think. So thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.